Um, just a couple of uh, things before we get started. I just wanted to welcome the congregation from Eastside United who's joining us this morning. And just a reminder, we're having the blanket exercise right after our service over at Campbell Collegiate next door. Uh, we also want to acknowledge all the fathers today on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Uh, we also like to acknowledge it's Pride Month, the month of June. So support our brothers and sisters in that respect. We also, the reason why we're here, one of the reasons why we're here is June is also Indigenous History Month. So there's been organizations across the city that's been doing some informational sessions on Indigenous history. Uh, the First Nations uh, University is doing sessions on Friday mornings, uh, Zoom. Uh, the last one will be this Friday, I think. I don't know what the subject is, but that'll be that they're having those informational sessions. I'd like to welcome our drummers this morning. David Cody and his drummers, the, the Crows. We also want to welcome the team from New York. Yorkton Tribal Council, who is coming to help us with the uh, blanket exercise. So welcome, everybody. So don't mind uh, me if I start taking this stuff off as we pray. <laughs> <laughs> it's, quite a, it's quite a change. We're usually freezing up here, right, Susan? <laughs> So anyway, we, we acknowledge that we are on Treaty 4 territory, the original and traditional lands of the Nawak, Soto, Assiniboine, and Métis Nations. We respect and honor the treaties that were made on all territories. We acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past. We are committed to moving forward in partnership with indigenous nations in the spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. Christ, our true only light, receive our prayers and songs and illumine the secrets of our hearts with your healing goodness that no evil desires may possess us who are new in the light of your heavenly grace. Amen. Now we're going to have the four directional prayer with faded drumming. All stand if you're able, please. God the creator, the strength of the people, we honor you. Listen to the thoughts of your people. We respect the truth of your spirit, spirit world and care for your creations to the east, to the south, to the west and to the north. We honor you by deeds and not words. We live by the ways you have entrusted us within the circle of life. Come, great spirit, as we gather in your name. We face east to your symbol color gold, the breath of the morning sun, to your animal sign, the eagle, which soars ever upward in the praise of the creator and calls us to do the same to your words calling us to balance our minds in the spirit of humility and truth, we invoke your spirit of illumination and far-sighted vision. The ways have shown us how to love you and each other with heart, mind, and soul, and we pray. Come, Holy Creator Spirit, come. We turn to the south, to your symbol color red, the hue of revelation, to your animal sign, the wolf, strong and enduring. The ways call us to balance of spirit and harmony with all nations, tribes, and clans. We evoke your wisdom, grace, and goodness of the ages, and we pray. Holy Spirit, come. We turn to the west, to your symbol color black, the stillness of night, to your sign, thunder, mighty and bold, 
to your animal sign, the buffalo. The ways calls us to balance emotions in the tradition of truth and honesty. We invoke your spirit ways of seeing within the community and its strength to endure, and we pray. Come, come Holy Holy Creator Spirit, come. come. We turn north to your symbol color white, the truth of clarity and brightness, to your animal sign, the bear, which touches us with earthiness and all things growing, to your word, words calling us to balance our body in the spirit of God, sense and humor. We evoke your spirit of innocence, trust, and love. The ways open our eyes to the sacredness of each living thing, and we pray. Come, Holy Creator, Spirit, come. We turn to complete the circle to God, the Creator, who cleanses the world with snow, wind, and rain, to the Creator's Son, Jesus the Christ, who fills us with mercy and loving embrace of all nations, and to the Holy Creator Spirit, who guides us, and we pray. Come, Holy Creator Spirit, come. Creator, you bend the earth like a bow until it was one, round, shining planet. At your word, the land was drawn into mountains and tundra, forests and prairies. The waters were gathered together into rivers, lakes, and seas. Many times when people crossed the seas from other lands, they broke the circle of your creation by their greed and violence, and they shattered the lives of others. Creator, renew the circle of the earth and turn the hearts of all people to one another that they all, the earth, may live and be drawn to, towards you through the love of Jesus Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit in, this, in the circle of Trinity forever, forever one. Amen. We turn to... Uh, the BAS, one, page 185, if you want to follow the service in your, in your actual book format. And we did print some full, fuller copies of the bulletin. Um, some of the pages are missing, I understand, and I apologize for that. But uh, the green book, Book of Alternative Services, page 185. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Almighty God, you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Page 186, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty King and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, our Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you would take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, the glory of heaven. Amen. O God, our defender, storms rage about us and cause us to be afraid. Rescue your people from despair. Deliver your sons and daughters from fear and preserve us from all unbelief. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we have the proclamation of the word.
Our first reading is from the uh, from 1 Kings, verses 19. Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life like the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid. He got up and fled for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah. He left his servant there, but instead went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a solitary broom tree. He asked that he might die. Is it enough now, O Lord, take away my life? for I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the broom tree and fell asleep. Suddenly an angel touched him and said to him, Get up and eat. He looked, and there at his head was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came a second time, touched him and said, Get up eat, otherwise the journey will be too much for you. He got up and ate and drank. Then he went in the strength of that food for forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. At that place he came to a cave and spent the night there. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous of the Lord, the God of hosts, For the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire a sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then there came a voice to him that said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous of the Lord. The God of hosts and the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. Then the Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel as king over Aram. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we turn to uh, Psalm 42 and 43. We'll do by half verse. I'll do the first part to the asterisk, and then you can do the second part. As the deer longs for the water brooks, my soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. My tears have been my food day and night. I pour out my soul when I think of these things. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? Put your trust in God. My soul is heavy within me. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts.
The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgiven, forgotten me? While my bones are being broken, all day long they mock me. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? Put your trust in God. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? Send, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me. That I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? Put your trust in God, for I will yet, sorry, put your trust in God. Second reading. Second reading is from Galatians 3, 23 to 29. Now before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore, the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came so that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think we have another hymn. Here. 509. <laughs>
Christ. For, for this sermon and reflection, we have a friend of ours from Yorkton to come and do some reflection for us. This, uh, gotta turn around. This is uh, Aola. Enola. This is Enola. Yeah, go to the mic here. Okay. You can be seated, please. Good morning, everyone. I'm so grateful to be here today. Um, I, um, <clears throat> we had quite an experience this morning getting here. Um, this morning, I think we were we were discussing what I would kind of talk about, and part of our program that we do were uh, Indian Residential School Resolution Health Support Workers. And uh, we were talk I was kind of, I was asking Iris, so what should I talk about? So something that had come to, uh, that stuck with me that we discussed was uh, reconciliation and how uh, to, to talk about that it's not just a word and it's not just, a, you know, something that... And... Uh, it's not, um, it's a word that came about because of the history in Canada that we all share and a way of reaching out to every Canadian and every, every area of Canada to take part. And through um, prayer and good good deeds and uh, following our Creator that we, we can show and be a part of all the good that can happen. You know, in spite of the, in spite of the history, you know, we need to be uh, treating each other with respect and kindness and understanding. I want to talk a little bit about our people, our First Nations people. For myself, you know, something I come learning through my life is uh, from a very young age is that, that, that every person is unique in their own way and every person that believes or belongs to some affiliation is unique to that affiliation. And our First Nations people, you know, they're very unique. If, you, if we think back and talk about it amongst ourselves, you know, our our people were spiritual people. They didn't just do it one day or do it at ceremony. It was a walk every day. They prayed every day about everything. They had ceremony for, every, for everything that they were going through, good and bad, positive, negative. And truth telling was one of their one of their big things because their lives depended on back there. There was no such thing as, as running to the store for food or, or getting anything from anywhere. They had to be able to, to maintain their own life. And through prayer and ceremony, our ceremonies encompass prayers. So no matter what ceremony we're doing, it's about prayer to our Creator, honoring, respecting. We don't take it for granted that we're here and we don't take our Mother Earth for granted or all the elements of the environment. We have a very deep love for, our, for the Earth, for our elements, and for our fellow neighbors. 
in spite of what people see and hear, we do try our best. We've got a very bad, very um, hard negative history and coming through there and coming today to now with the impacts from all the history that we've been through, we work very hard and try to be respectful of each and every person's individual encounters of what had happened to them. I can say that I know, you know, that, that, that um, the history that we have in, impacted me as well. And the thing I want to say about that is that that it was the kindness of people that I reached out to and that helped me through, through my life to get me to where I am to, today, through prayer, ceremony. And trying to figure out my own identity, where I fit in this world. Each and every person has an identity and no matter what we've been taught negatively, I would hope and I always try to resort back to the positive that I had been taught. My old grandfather was, uh, was, a, was a strong Christian, United Presbyterian, but he carried a pipe as well. There's no mix up in that. It's the values of our people. When we do our ceremonies, you know, it, I, as I said earlier, that it's about prayer, connecting with our Creator. And this morning, you know, when I, when, I, when I got here and we were coming here, I was really tested to the max. I had to say a few prayers. My, my colleague here was, was on the phone asking me, where are we going? <laughs> So here I am, you know, and uh, I think about uh, reflection, you know, uh, in my own life and about, um, you know, the power of uh, confession. I tell people in my own, my own journey, your confession, you know, they say confess to another person, another human being, and I, and I say it in prayer. Sometimes our confessions are so deep that, that we don't want another human being to, to take those on. So when you're driving alone, doing gardening, walking, praying, meditating, talk about those things. Sometimes our own people don't understand the underlyingness of the things that they hold deep inside of them because of the trauma and the hurt. And it's their prayers, you know, and, our, and prayers of our communities that, that hold them and help them through whatever it is they're going through in terms of hurt. And I know I, know I can say that our communities, a lot of them are hurt about, the, about some of the things that are coming forward. So when I'm standing up here, you know, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, please be praying for our people and... and Let's do our best, you know, to treat each other with respect and to try to be understanding and to understand, you know, that our history in Canada is a history for everybody to, to embrace and to also to, um, to be a part of reconciliation, whether it be a smile, a kind act, or, you know, an understanding. With that, you know, I want to say, you know, have a good day, and I'm very humbled to be standing up here, and if I say anything that hurt anybody or... Or you know that that I need to be forgiven for you know I take this minute to say that you know to to be forgiven. Uh huh. Miigwech. Thank you. No. Just um, just a few words as well from my from myself just to share some stories. Um, not knowing what relevance they have to our story today, but they do, and I'll let you figure it out. 
You know, when we were, when we were small, running around in Moose Lake, no, I'm not going to say the usual thing, Muriel. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's, stuff, there's stuff there that I'll, I'll, I'll not use. But you know, when we, were in, when we were in elementary school, day school, when we were small, we used to have these uh, booklet, books that we read in school. And one of the rhymes was, one little Indian, two little Indians, three little Indians, and it goes on, right? And at the time, not knowing what I was, was a little Indian, you know? Um, so the other story is a little boy going, running down to the lake. There's a, there's a Biopisco Piminagan, a plane coming in. Everybody runs to the, to the store to see who is coming off the plane. You know, I was about six, seven years old at the time. We were all running down the, to the lake. The plane comes, lands on the dock. A person comes off with a suit and tie, well-dressed, well-groomed, white guy. That's the vision that I see. And then, as little kids around the table, there was about seven of us at the time with our family, eating with our parents. My father was on council, our local council. And we asked, I asked him, I said, what was the guy here to do that was coming off the plane? And he was telling us, well, my kids, he's come here to organize us. He's come here to, uh, to modernize us. I'm using these new words, but there's Cree words for all these things. He's here to modernize us. He's here to take the, the savage away from us. Uh, here, we didn't know that we were all those things as we were growing up, innocent in these small, little, isolated reserves, communities in the north. But about 30, 40 years, 50 years maybe, fast forward, there was a man coming out. He was, this man was working in, in the Northwest Territories, working for the government. There is a big shot there. He's, he's coming off the float plane. And he has a big meeting with his council, the chief and council and the tribal council were there uh, in this in, in a little community that's very, not primitive, but they were still practicing the old ways of hunting, trapping, and fishing, and sustaining their livelihood. And then here is this bureaucrat at the, at the chief and council table saying, I'm here to organize you, you poor little Indians. Guess what? That person was me coming off the plane. <laughs> but you know, the bulb lit up. After I said that at the council meeting, the next day when I landed in wherever my home was, I resigned from that position. I wasn't going to be the one to devastate that community and modernize them and organize them <laughs> and get them into social programs that are um, long, a long list of social programs and problems that was created as a result. So those are the kind of things from a, an indigenous perspective. Some of us made it out of our communities, but some of us still have those memories the way it used to be way back when, back in the day, as our friend used to say it. Those were the good old days, but we're never going to get back to them. But as Enola in, in, in talked, it's about reconciliation. So I was talking to somebody earlier. You know, we can dwell on the past and talk about all the wrongs that have been done to us, all the money that is given to us as a result of those. It's not going to pay for the pains that we suffer as indigenous people. But let's move on. 
let's move on with the community and our people and our neighbors and start moving forward and start looking at positive things. Now these are, this is why I'm standing up here today is to try and do whatever I can to do reconciliation among our communities. It's, it's a long process, but it'll, it'll, it'll come. And a funny story related as well, as I took my, my, my parents to Ottawa, we were living in Ottawa at the time, and we went to an air show in Ottawa, and they were performing all kinds of tricks and aerobatics up there and with the planes. And then so one, of, one small little plane was taking off, and there was two people in the plane. It's one of those uh, two-wing air, air, airplanes from long ago. We're still using it for, for air shows and stuff. And then the, the, the co-pilot got up. You know, the co-pilot usually sits in the back. He gets up, and he goes on the top of the wing of the plane and stands there and goes like this, and the plane is going up and down, up and over. But you know, the guy's feet are all staged in there, or strapped to the, to the, to the, uh, to the wing there. So at supper time, I, I, talk, I turned to my father and I said, well, are you going to go back to Moose Lake and tell all the things that you've seen here today, and particularly the guy standing on the plane? And my dad said, never. I'm never going to tell that story. They're not going to believe me anyway. You know? <laughs> so that's the moral of our story today, in a nutshell, in the, in the gospel. You know, the person that Jesus healed, the demons out of that person, they're gone. And Jesus sent him away to go and spread the good word of what Jesus has done for this guy. But people are not going to believe him. That's why he wanted to stay with Jesus and hang around with Jesus. So anyway, I tell you these short stories. There's more I can tell, but I'll leave this for a later date. But, um, so I'll leave you with that. And let's have our hymn. Thank you. Hymn number 410. Okay,
Augustine, as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the people. Please stand if you're able. I know you're standing. <coughs> Creator and Redeemer, as we approach you in prayer, make us walk in beauty and balance. Make us open our hearts and minds. Make us speak the truth. We pray first for your community, the church, the body of Christ. We pray for all our relatives in the circle of life throughout all creation. We pray for our ancestors, our Japans, our Gukums, for those chosen to be our elders and teachers. In, in peace we pray to you, Lord God. We call upon the earth, our mother and home, with its beautiful depths, soaring heights, and deep waters, its vitality and abundance of life, and together we ask that it teach us and show us the way. We call upon the mountains and tundra, high green valleys and prairies filled with wildflowers, the snows, the summits of intense silence, and we ask that they teach us and show us the way. We call upon the land which grows our food, the nurturing soil, the fertile fields, the abundant gardens and orchards, and we ask that they teach us and show us the way. We call upon the forests, the great trees reaching strongly to the sky with earth in their roots and the heavens in their branches, the fir and the pine, the cedar and the maple. We ask them to teach us and show us the way. We call upon the creatures of the fields and forests of the wa and the waters, our brothers and sisters, the wolves and deer, the eagle and bear, the great whales and the fish, we ask them to We call upon all those who have lived on this earth, our ancestors and our friends, who dream the best for our future generations and upon whose lives our lives are built. And with thanksgiving, we call upon them to Teach us the, us the way. I've got a couple more, dear. Yep. As Christians, our work for justice and reconciliation is grounded in scripture and in our common worship life. Let us pray for God's healing touch in our lives and in the broken relationships between indigenous and newcomer peoples. And we pray. Teach us and show us the way. We give you thanks for the fathers and those who act as fathers and ask that you strengthen them, strengthen them in their daily tasks. Grant them wisdom in the lessons they teach, patience in the discipline they foster, and persistence in their promotion of decency and compassion, both by word and example. May they be given the honor and the thanks that they deserve. And we call upon them to Teach us and show us the way. Creator, you made the world and declared it to be good. The beauty of the trees, the softness of the air, the fragrance of the grass speaks to us. The summit of the mountains, the thunder of the sky, the rhythm of the waters speak to us. The faintness of the stars, the freshness of the morning, the dewdrops of the flowers speak to us. But above all, our heart soars 
For you speak to us in Jesus the Christ, whose name we offer these prayers. Amen. Amen. We've got a couple more. Okay. For those who travel by land, water, or air, for the sick and the suffering, um, we especially remember Lorna Simpson and family. Danny, Crystal Graham, Sean K, Marg C, Virginia S, Rod Ashley, Nancy Brandes, Henry. For prisoners and captives and for their safety, health, and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Um, for, for all those who have died, especially Terry Ann Krupka, Reverend Duncan McLean, Barbara Pichet, Marnie Elliott, Shetha DeChambeau, let us pray to the Lord. Just show us the way. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast and infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites us to his table. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that, that we have sinned against you, word, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, walking in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Share the peace. No hugs, please. And our offertory hymn is uh, 441. Thee will I love, my strength, my tower.
eternal God, you have made our Savior, Jesus Christ, the head of all creation. Receive all you offer this day and renew us in his risen life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. We're using Eucharistic prayer one today. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right that we should praise you, gracious God, for you created all things. You formed us in your own image. Male and female, you created us. When you turned away from us in sin, you did not cease to care for us, but open a path of salvation for all people. You made a covenant with Israel. Through your servant Abraham and Sarah, gave a promise of a blessing to all nations. Through Moses, you led your people from bondage into freedom. Through the prophets, you renewed your promise of salvation. Therefore, with them and with all your saints who have served you in every age, we give you thanks and raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy God, source of life and goodness, all creation rightly gives you praise. In the fullness of time, you send your Son, Jesus Christ, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He healed the sick and ate and drank with outcasts and sinners. He opened the eyes of the blind and proclaimed the good news of your kingdom to the poor and to the, those in need. In all things, he fulfills your grace's will. On the night he freely gave himself to death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. After supper, after supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remember, when you drink it, do this in the remembrance of me. Grace is God. His perfect sacrifice destroys the power of sin and death. By raising him to life, you gave us life forevermore. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ has Jesus. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Recalling his death, proclaiming his resurrection, and looking into his coming again in glory, we offer you, Father, this bread and this cup sends your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts and that all who eat and drink at this table may be one body, one holy people, a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all God is, all glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing.
say the Lord's Prayer in Peru with English, and I'll say it in Cree as well. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ito wika natin taon kiwinuin. Ito pa itsige na uchi sa panuta ski ga si agi tsigi sigo. Min na na nutska agi siga ga uchi pumat si ag. Min asen na moy na na matsiti wina na ga si asen na mogi tsigi ni ga wantu ta ko ako. Min e ga wii tuta ina na kuta wii mingu ni. Magamita ga na moy na matsige ko. Kina kita yan ti pa itsige wina min a sugat si wina min a gistei ta ko si wina. Ka agi gay min a ka agi gay. Amen. We'll do the breaking of the bread number three. Creator of all, you gave us golden fields of wheat, whose many grains we have gathered and made into this bread. So may your church be gathered from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. The gifts of God. The gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Amen. Okay, you may be seated for announcements. Any announcements? Good morning. Uh, my name is Joanne Shervin Martin. There's a short item in the announcements for this week that talks about the possibility of setting up a group of knitters and stitchers for the parish. Um, I think there's great potential in such a group. Um, so if you're interested, please find my email in the announcements or talk to me after the service. Thank you. Is that it for announcements? Okay. Good morning, everybody. Um, all I want to do today is talk about the garage sale. It's coming up this week. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is the actual garage sale. So if you still need to bring some stuff in, we're accepting it and all that. So, and if you need to sign your names, you can still do that or just volunteer whenever you want. And that's it. Any more announcements? Okay, thank you. I just, uh, in closing, I just wanted to uh, thank everybody. This is my last um, official uh, worship lead as part of Emmanuel. I'm moving on to work for the diocesan in the business ministry, but will still see me here on and off periodically or, or too many times, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the plan is that we'll continue these uh, indigenous worship services at least four times a year. So looking forward to seeing you again in that respect. So I think that's it for, uh, for announcements. We have a... Uh, the processional hymn 397 and then we'll have the drumming out. <laughs> <laughs>